So hey everyone, and welcome back to the lab. Today we're going to be talking about donut charts and React Native Skia. This is a really interesting topic, especially if you've ever worked with fitness apps or any apps that kind of track adherence to a certain goal. I'm actually going to show the animation off to the side here, just so you guys can see it working. I hope you guys will find this is actually easier than React Native SVG. I actually find it not only easier, but that the animation comes out a lot smoother as well. So without any more waiting time, I hope you guys will like and subscribe and find some value and let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna start things off by installing React Native Skia into the project. You can do this by just doing yarn add React Native Skia and then just going into your iOS directory and doing auto install. After that, you're gonna to wanna to add a font to the project. This will come in handy a little bit later when we wanna do some drawing. So now we're gonna create our donut chart component and we're gonna start by just importing the same kind of boilerplate that you'd use really for any component that you'd ever make. Next, we're gonna create the props for our donut chart. And we'll start off with the stroke width, which is the width of the ring. We're then gonna make the radius, which is gonna be the size of the chart. The percentage complete, which is what the ring animates to. The font, which is gonna be for the larger title. The smaller font, which is for the subtitle. And then finally, the target percentage, which will never change and is just going to be used for text. All right, so now we're just going to create the boilerplate associated with the component. Um, we're just going to plug in our props and then we're going to destructure everything out. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is calculate the inner radius, which is the size inside the ring of the donut chart. And then we're going to um, create the target text, which is the title that we want to animate to that you saw earlier. At this point, we now want to create the circle, which is used to create the ring. So we're going to use Skia Path Make. And then we're going to add a circle to our path using radius, radius, and inner radius. So at this point, we want to measure the width of our text. React Native Skia doesn't provide any primitives for centering text, so we'll have to use the width in order to do that ourselves. I'm just going to make a quick style here just so that we can use it in order to have our Skia view fill the entire space that it's allocated. Uh, just a simple flex one should do. We're going to put this inside a view. Then inside the view, we're going to use a Skia canvas. After that, creating the circle is as simple as adding the path that we created earlier. We're going to make the color orange to match the button. We're going to give the style stroke so that it's a line instead of filling the circle. We're going to make the stroke width the one we pass in. We're going to make the stroke cap rounded so that it's rounded at the ends of the ring. And we're going to make the start zero and the end the target percentage that we pass in. Okay, so let's actually draw this on the screen, right? Uh, in order to do that, what we want to do is first specify a radius, and I'm just going to use the pixel ratio around to do that. And I'm also going to add a stroke width that I think looks nice in a constant. I'm going to then use this uh, to create a style that we can use for our container for the ski of view. It's just going to be radius times two for the height and radius times two for the width. So it just makes a nice square. At this point, what we want to do is actually add our donut chart inside of a parent view. And in here, what we're going to do is just supply the hard coded radius and the hard coded stroke width that we just created. Percentage complete, I'm going to create a constant for as well. This is just the amount that we want to animate to or show in terms of text. For now, they're going to match, but later on, I'm going to use some animated values here. Fonts are a little bit more tricky, and I'm just going to put a placeholder of null for now. So the fonts we have to get from the actual project, and we did that earlier. So in order to do that, you have to do use font, and then you have to require the font that you added to the project. Another thing that's a little tricky here is after adding these fonts, you have to make sure that they aren't null. 
Sometimes on the first frame of render, they can be. So if that's the case, all we're gonna do here is just return an empty view. Sometimes Skia will give you these errors. Uh, you can just reload and things will just be fine. You can sort of ignore them. All right, so now that we've done that, let's draw some text to the actual uh, 85 and the power uh, values that you saw earlier. And we wanna import the text from React Native Skia. Then we want to center x using the inner radius minus the width divided by 2. Our y value is then going to be the radius plus the stroke width. We're going to use our target text, which is the target percentage for this. And we're going to make the font the bigger font. And the target opacity is going to be the same as the target percent. And I'm going to do the same thing for the other text, just copy paste it and push it down a little bit from where the text above it is. And I'm gonna make the text just hard-coded to power for now. Although you can pass in your own title if you liked. Okay, so we're at the final phase. Let's animate this thing. Uh, the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is create a skia value called the animation state, and it's gonna start at zero. We're then gonna create a function that acts on the animation state. And at the beginning of this function, we're always gonna make the animation state zero so that the chart will always start from the beginning. After that, we're gonna base the animation on a timing. So we're gonna go from the animation state to the target percentage complete. And we're gonna have a duration of time of 1,250 milliseconds. And we're gonna use a cubic in out easing. And we're gonna add a button there. So the next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to wanna to update the type now of percentage complete. The type is now going to be a skia mutable value. We then have to pass the actual animated value into there. And the last thing we're going to do is copy percentage complete into the end of path and into the opacity for both of the text values. At this point, if we reload, we should be able to just click animate and see the chart animate nicely like this. All right, so that's everything. I hope you guys enjoyed learning about donut charts and React Native Skia, and I hope you also enjoyed the new format. I tried to keep things a little um, shorter and more fast paced so that you can get more information in less time. Um, until next time, have an awesome day, guys.